It's really good to be back here on the factory floor, turning out satellites to complete our mission. This is really like a resurrection from a very difficult situation. Hardship always puts a challenge on how we relate as individuals to one another. And the whole difficulty and tragedy of COVID-19 has really pushed that to the limits. The last eight months have been a roller coaster ride. I mean, just to be totally honest. Especially given this previous year, we've really seen how difficult um, it can be for people who don't have connectivity. The mission to have an impact on global communication around the world is why I'm back. We basically took advantage of that time when we were a little bit lower on output to make sure our processes were more efficient, more effective, to improve on the machine. We've had to evolve how we actually operate. We have masks, we have social distancing, we put plastic partitions at our break tables. We've also put in testing on site. So every two weeks, testing of everybody who works in the factory. We've managed to keep our supply chain alive, so we started reactivating them come July. We estimate there's approximately a thousand people around the world. So we have 30 major suppliers today. That means our teams actually have to cover 11 time zones, and they also have to speak eight languages natively and have put a lot of investment themselves into the project in terms of finances, in terms of teams, in terms of innovation. And it's so exciting when we work together, there's no borders. There's triumph in the air, there's, there's pride in the air that we managed to be resilient and to, to get to the end of the tunnel. The team have done an amazing job and uh, I'm so proud of them. So while I'm based in the London office, uh, the satellites that we're testing are actually in Florida. So we have to communicate with the Florida team, who then, once they've finished testing, they send off the satellites. My job is to get all of our materials from point A to point B. So all in all, we have about 9,200 miles that we do in about 40 hours. When we land, the rest of the launch team will be waiting for us. After working 30 days, 12 hours a day with a, a large team to get it all processed and onto the launch pad. Seeing that launch vehicle go up into space is just amazing. We've had hundreds, thousands of hurdles to get over to actually get those parts into our factory. The human connection there, the, the team spirit, yeah, we're going to have tears in our eyes. I think that our leadership has relayed a great message to everybody as far as the health of the company. We're actually building and launching up to 36 satellites multiple times per year. We are the, the only company that can provide uh, broadband, global communication. By the end of 2022, we are planning to cover the entire planet. That mission alone you know, keeps a lot of people motivated. 2020 has been really tough and I cannot think of a better way to end it. It's a new beginning in many ways.